right, a couple quick little notes. So the talk's been drying for like 12 hours at this point. And I noticed that I'm gonna have to do a little sanding on the bridge where the glue seeped out, that's okay. But given that some of the wood peeled up, when the old when it uh, when the bridge originally pulled off from the body, I got to thinking, you know what? I'll make a little trim piece for that to cover up any of the wood that tore up. So what I did was I took a piece of black flooring vinyl. It already has an adhesive back on it, and with paper and some effort and a pencil and and some time, I basically traced a shape for the bridge and then ultimately once I clean it up as best I can I'm gonna put this trim piece you know you can't see it because the covers on but it'll go right there around the bridge and kind of clean up that look and cover up any of the crack wood so last night while I was putting the finishing details on that getting it ready I thought you know this guitar doesn't have a pit guard so I want a pit guard so I took out the paper and the pencil again. It was just arts and crafts day all over again. So I took that uh, idea for the trim piece, got some more of my black vinyl, and with a little patience and a little time, I traced the template, which follows the line pretty good. It's not perfect, maybe down here, but I built and trimmed and trimmed until I was as happy with it as I could be. A pit guard, also out of the black vinyl, which is really, really, really tough. I mean, I think it's going to serve as a pit guard beautifully because of how uh, you know durable and hard it is. Uh, adhesive did a perfect job of holding onto the body of the guitar, and then I just made it kind of curve back here to sort of follow the curve of the guitar a little bit. I, I don't think it looks too bad. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. And uh, yeah, so that will actually match the trim piece for the bridge. And after it's all said and done, I think it's going to look pretty good. So stay tuned. We'll see how it turns out.